Today, I'm gonna to be cooking some pork chops on the Blackstone E-Series Indoor Electric Griddle. And I'm gonna be making a marinade for the pork chops using soy sauce and tiger sauce. And I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with this product. Tiger sauce is something that I really like. It's good to put on your food after you cook it, and it's very good for a marinade. The closest thing to it would be something like a General So sauce, but it's a very mild hot sauce, but it's also sweet. So it gives a really good flavor, especially to chicken and pork. And if this isn't something that your local store carries, they do carry it on Amazon. But if you, and if you're using it for something like marinade, it's gonna go pretty quick. And I know that Amazon also sells it by the gallon. So in addition to marinating the pork chops and the tiger sauce and the soy sauce, I'm gonna be grilling some white mushrooms, onions, and some jalapeno peppers. I really like the way these things taste just being grilled for just a few minutes. I'm also going to be cooking some angel hair pasta, which I'll prepare with Parmesan cheese, olive oil, and some fresh ground black pepper. It'll be similar to the Keche Papa if you've ever had that, but not exactly because I don't have all the ingredients for it. The pork chops I'm using are just some boneless center cut pork chops. For my marinade, I'm gonna use one cup of the tiger sauce. And you can see that it took my whole bottle that I just bought plus part of another bottle that I already had. For me, the tiger sauce does go quick, so I really need to start buying it by the gallon. Next, I'm going to use just a quarter cup of the soy sauce. And I'll mix this up. This marinade is also really good, not only for pork chops on the Blackstone, but pork chops outside on the grill, or even chicken too. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all these pork chops in the marinade. I may save some of the pork chops for something else. But I'll definitely put as many as I can fit in here. So I've got eight pork chops in here total. And I can smoosh these down so that they're all covered in the marinade. I usually like to let these pork chops marinate for about four to eight hours. I won't quite have enough time to let them marinate that long today, but I should be able to let them sit for at least a couple hours. So after these sit for a little while, I'll come back and we'll cook them on the Blackstone. My angel hair pasta just got done cooking. You can see it's still steaming pretty good. So to make my bootleg Keche y Papa, I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil. I don't have exact measurements. I just kind of eyeball it and see what looks about right. And you can always add more if you don't add enough. So fresh ground salt. I did not salt my pasta water while it was boiling. So I don't have to really worry about too much salt, I don't think. Some fresh ground black pepper. And I like to put a good bit of pepper in here. This is a whole package of pasta. So to get that good flavor, I'm going to need a good bit of the pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of my pasta water back. And then I'm just going to mix this up. It's kind of a small bowl here. Normally I do it in something bigger. But I just want to kind of turn that pasta and fold it over and over until everything's pretty well coated. You can also use butter if you want. I generally don't use butter in here, although I have in the past. With this dish, I'm really just looking for something fairly light. And I'll be cooking the mushrooms on the Blackstone when I'm done, so the mushrooms will go well with this also. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit, make sure I have enough olive oil and enough of the pasta water, salt, and pepper. I need to add a little bit more of the olive oil. And I'll mix this up a little more. Okay, I'm gonna try a piece again and see if it's where I want it to be. I like the taste of the pasta, so I'm gonna put the lid on it so it doesn't get dried out and move it out the way. I'm gonna heat up my griddle to 365 degrees. While that's heating up, I'll get my onions and my jalapenos cut up. Before I put everything on, I'm gonna put some butter. So first I'll put some for my pork chops and, and if you've seen my other videos, you know that I like to use butter for the flavor and the color and a little bit of the charring that it'll give to the meat. So here's my marinated pork chops. These shouldn't take too long at all to cook. 
either because they're pretty thin. And that was part of the reason I put the grill down at 365. You can see the griddle did cool down a good bit when I put the meat on here, but being that these are so thin, I don't think it's going to be very much of an issue. So for my jalapenos, I just cored them out. I left a few of the seeds, those don't really bother me, but mainly I'm looking for the flavor, not the heat with the jalapenos. Unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot of extra room for the onions or the mushrooms right now, but after the pork chops and the jalapenos get done, I'll put those on next. This is actually the first time that I've ran into a situation where I didn't have enough room to cook everything at one time. It's not that the onions and the jalapenos necessarily fit in with the pasta and the pork chops, but a lot of times if I'm cooking anyway, I'll go ahead and just try to fill the griddle up with other things too. It's been about four minutes, so let me check pork chops. And yeah, I need to go a little bit more. I don't like the way they're kind of curling up here. You can see they're kind of forming like a little cup. So the surface of the bottom of the pork chops isn't hitting the griddle as much on some of them as I would like. It's been another minute, so I'm gonna flip the pork chops over. I wish y'all could smell how good these pork chops and jalapenos are smelling. Especially the pork chops with that tiger sauce. It is just really smelling phenomenal. For the last couple minutes of cooking, I'm going to close the hood. Okay, it's been about two minutes more. So let me check the pork chops, see if they are done. Oh yeah, they're definitely done. And my jalapenos, I'm quite sure, are done. I just try to cook them to get the crunch out of them. And anything beyond that, pretty much any state other than absolutely burnt, I'm okay with. Push that off. And now it's time for the mushrooms and for the onions. I had reviewed a product uh, some time back. It was an indoor smokeless grill. And I had someone comment on that video that they would never let me cook for them because, because I didn't clean the grill between cooking the pork and the chicken. And I have absolutely no idea why that would matter, especially if it's for myself. But I'm not gonna clean the griddle or the grill or anything else when I'm just gonna be cooking more food on it. Especially not if I just cook pork chops and jalapenos, there would be no point in me cleaning it so I can cook mushrooms and onions. But I thought that comment was kind of odd.
So for the onions and the mushrooms, I am going to close the hood for about two minutes. Let's check on the mushrooms and the onions. Coming along pretty good. I think I'll go ahead and flip these for right now. If I can keep them together. And I'll toss my mushrooms a little bit. You may remember me saying a couple videos back that mushrooms are not really one of my favorite things, but I don't hate them either. But with something like the pasta, I think they go pretty well with that. And I'll close the hood for about another minute and a half to two minutes. It's been about two minutes, and I'm quite sure these mushrooms are ready to go. I don't think the onions are quite where I want them to be yet, so I'm just going to move these out the way for a minute and try to scoop up my mushrooms. Now that those are out the way, I can push the onions back to the middle of the griddle and let them get a little bit more of the heat where it's a little bit hotter. And I'll probably let these go just for another few minutes, maybe another minute and a half on this side, and then I'll turn them over another minute and a half on the other and then pull them off. All right, time to flip the onions. And let's see if I can do it without making them fall apart this time. Yeah, that definitely was smoother than the last time that I flipped them. Another minute and a half, and they'll be ready to go. Let's have a look at the onions. And I'm quite certain these are ready to be pulled off. Here are my grilled onions and my sautéed mushrooms. I'm going to turn the blackstone off, and then I'm going to put everything together. So I topped off with Parmesan cheese and mushrooms, added a couple of the grilled jalapenos, added the grilled onion, and a couple of my tiger sauce pork chops. And this is gonna be a fabulous meal, no doubt about it. So I think I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy this meal, and that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.